I, I, before I get into some of these games, I just got to talk a little bit about the ever changing, uh, you know, college basketball world. Um, I was joking yesterday by saying Richard Pitino Jr. to <laughs> Louisville. I don't even remember if we were on air or off air. Um, but it seems to be coming into fruition because uh, I'm I'm hearing now that he's like their leading candidate. Well, I, I got. I, let me just let me just play a little something for that because. Um, well, well, I don't get. They bring the in cold, but they're counting down seven, six, five. What? 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 Yes, yes. Uh, you know what I like about Louisville? They pretend to not be. They, they they get on their high horse at times and pretend to not be scumbags, but then they own being a scumbag. I love Louisville, by the way. I hope they win. But you can't tell me this is not this is like the rehire of Petrino, right? <laughs> and it almost fits. You know, I mean, this is just please let this be true. Now, do yeah. I think do I think this is a great hire? I do not. But is it hilarious? Absolutely. And do I want this to happen? Absolutely. Mac, your thoughts on the potential of Richard Petino Jr. I to love back it. to I, I, back to Louisville. Yeah, I I love it. I mean, he was there when his old man. He was one of the assistants when they won it all and made back to back Final Fours. If they want to make a splash and and get back relative and 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 create a little buzz and get some people in the seats, this is a perfect hire. I mean, you're bringing back the Patino name. One thing you're gonna get if you hire Richard Patino, your your NIL collective is gonna go whoop. Because you know, you know the old man's fucking lining up all those money people, whether they're in New York, they come down for the Derby down at Louisville. So it's going to be an entertaining thing. I don't know if he can win a national championship there, obviously, but um, I think we undersell the job he did at New Mexico. Though he took over a six and sixteen program, he's won forty eight games in two years. I I think he's been a better coach at New Mexico than he was at Minnesota early in his career, in my opinion. Uh, see, I'm I, I like I'm not gonna say that he didn't, but I'll say this: New Mexico has always been a place where if the, you can win at, they, they their fans come out and support. Steve Alford won 155 and 52 there. You know, you really got to go through. Uh, you know, a, this is a, this a program to me that's like a proud mid major program. I get it. Paul Weir was terrible before them. He was 50, 58 and 62. But you don't have to look further than like that. I mean, Craig Neal got him to the NCAA tournament one time in his four years, but they had winning records, what, every year but one. I mean, Patino's only been to the NCAA tournament once with them. Uh, I thought he underachieved with his roster. To be honest, I, I kind of thought he underachieved with his roster both years. You should never lose to Air Force without a roster. Um, Alfred, like I said, was 155 and 52. They went to like three, three NCAA tournaments and three NITs. Um, Dave Bliss, our our guy, was on fire with them back in the day. Hell of a guy, Dave Bliss. Hey, Louisville, you know Dave Bliss is out there too. Um, perfect for your uh, perfect for your fans, in my opinion. Um, moral. Look, I will say this: he would probably get the fan base excited. Do I think it would work out long term? Not unless he's hiring like a fucking assistant. Because watching that Clemson game, I thought, oh boy, these guys don't that. They're not well coached is what I gathered from that game. Uh, Cause I thought just normal stuff spacing wise, you know, coming up and shooting very low percentage shots consistently. They just look like a team that wasn't well coached to me, but can't be worse than Kenny Payne. Like I, I think he'd, I think they'd be, I think they'd make the NCAA tournament with Richard Patino jr. Now, do I think they'd ever make like a sweet 16 elite eight? I highly doubt it, but you never know if you bring in enough money. Noah, your thoughts. Uh, if he takes a job, my one request is he can't, but he can't go by Richard anymore. He has to be Dick Patino. That, that, that does, that does bang, you know, <laughs> Hey, I'm Dick Patino jr. Um, it's going to be so incredible. If he does take the job, <laughs> it is that, that great for content. 